and hello guys i recently bought a oneplus 10 d phone and i was searching on youtube for how to enable the 90 fps option vgmi as it wasn't available as an option in the game even though it has a snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 processor so i thought why not make a video so let's start the process first go to settings then open app management and look for bgmi and clear the cache memory then please go to the battery options and enable the high performance mode because it's gonna need a lot of juice for enabling 90 fps now let's go to play store and search for the archiver and please install it and before doing that please download the file from the link given in the description because that will be the config file used for enabling now let's go to downloads Select the file called active.sav Then copy the file or maybe cut it Then go to the android folder The data And the bgmi folder called com.pubg.mobile And files ue4 game shadow tracker extra then again shadow tracker extra and saved and save games drop down and save games then just paste it it's gonna ask for replace the files please do that maybe sometimes it doesn't work as you plan so please delete the existing active.sav file and paste the downloaded one now since the option is enabled let's try and start with the little arena match please look at the fps don't judge the game because i'm not a pro player team match let's now, go now as you can see i have already enabled the pro gamer mode for the complete performance mode to get the maximum fps as possible the blue team has scored for the first time! Cover me! No mercy! Dead! Reloading! Reloading! Target down! Cover me! No mercy! The blue team is in the lead! Killing spree for the blue team! stable as it's not an official update or official option available we are making it perform like this with the use of config file so fps are completely unstable even though this is just death match well you can judge how it will perform in the classic match well after some time of screen recording the fps drop and in the low when i stop using the screen recording option the fps increased again 
I mean, it was able to maintain 90 FPS, not 90 FPS, or maybe above 70 FPS after stopping the screen recording. That is, it's screen recording is what I can get. Well, as you did see, it didn't climb over 60 FPS. Anymore, Enemy so down. Let's switch to a boot camp game. Okay. This is a solo gameplay and it's about lobby. I haven't played or I'm in gold league, so I'm not a pro player. I play all the time death matches so I'm, off, I'm obviously not a pro player I'm just playing it for fun I wanted to try 90 FPS as I was curious about the performance about the Snapdragon 8 plus Gen 1 that's why I have tried it so now let's look at the FPS Well, the FPS drop is crazy, right? It even touched 38 FPS. Even though it's Snapdragon's most powerful chipset, 8 plus Gen 1, the FPS is really bad. That's because it's not an official update. We tried making it run on 90 FPS using the config file. And OnePlus is throttling the performance to keep the device cool. And given the performance as we're playing the game and also doing a screen recording, so it has, it will heat up. So to keep the temperatures low, it will obviously drop more FPS. So if you stop recording, the FPS will be much better. Well, as you can see, this is a bar lobby. Not even a single player was in boot camp. Still, the FPS drop was so bad. Now let's see what happens in a squad match. <laughs> We're dropping in bootcamp again because that's the only place where we can test the actual performance of the phone. And please don't judge the gameplay because it's again about lobby. Well, as you did see, the FPS drop was crazier than the last time. It even reached 33 FPS, and this time the phone throttled pretty quickly. It was already under the 60 FPS mark. Well, as you did see, this was the performance when you use the config file. It's not an official update, but if you stop the screen recording, you will obviously get more FPS. That I'm sure of. About 70 FPS, it was able to maintain all the time. Well, this video was about how to enable 90 FPS in BGMI in OnePlus 10T and how the phone performs in 90 FPS with screen recording turned on. If you turn off the screen recording, the phone will give above 70 FPS. As the OnePlus throttles the performance to keep the temperature low, it will always drop the FPS. I hope the video was helpful.